everybody. It's Keith Brown, Tack Room Devotional. It's Saturday. Guess what's tomorrow? Sunday. Be sure and go to church. That's what we're talking about all this week. I showed you on Monday a video that our youth at the uh, Sanctuary Cowboy Church did. And it's, a, it's a, a video about salvation. And I wanted you to look at it two ways. If you're not a believer, I wanted you to listen to the message so that you could receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And I hope that the message of that little video makes sense to you. But if you already are a, a, a you know, are saved and born again child of God. I want you to watch that video with eyes of learning how to become a good witness. And we've studied so much this week that also should help you to become a good witness. There's fa uh, seven facts of salvation that we talked about this week. First of all, we found out that the fact that Jesus loves you. God loves you. For God so loved the world that he gave. See, he gave. Why? Because he loves you so much. That he gave who? He gave his only begotten son. That whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. So if you'll believe in, the, in, in not only the death but the burial and the resurrection the, and, and the ascension into heaven. If you'll believe that, you too can be saved. So first of all, the fact is that God loves you. Second of all, it's a fact that you are a sinner. Now you may think you're all that, but you're not. We've all sinned, the Bible says in Romans chapter 3. We've all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And so if you're trying to get to heaven based upon your own righteousness, guess what? You're going to fail. You're going to get to, the, to that place of death, uh, step, thinking you're going to step into a place of heaven and you're not going to make it. Why? Because the Bible tells us that there's only one way to heaven. And that's through Jesus Christ. He says um, in John chapter 14 verse 6, he says, I am the way the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. We have to have this relationship with him. Why? Because he was the perfect man. He did not sin and his blood was, un his blood was untainted by sin. And so he made that sacrifice of that pure and holy blood so that you and I could be delivered from the, the judgment that was against sin. And again, you can see that I explained it all in that video. So we find out it's a fact that you are a sinner, so you need a savior. Number three, it's a fact that you are now dead in sin. So sin is, brings about death. What kind of death? Well, there's three kinds of death. There's the death that is just um, separates us from God, which is sin. It, it, it causes us that we can't have a relationship with God. Death is also... Uh, causes our spirit and soul to be separated from our body. That's when you die. Now the next thing is, are you going to make it to heaven? Well, there's a third type of death, and that's eternal death. That's the bad one. You don't want to get that far to the point that you'll spend eternity in hell. So we don't want to get that way. So God has this plan of salvation that you can accept Jesus Christ and his finished work at Calvary. What he did at Calvary for you and I, his blood was sufficient for God. It satisfied the judgment against God, uh, against the, uh, the judgment against sin. And if it's satisfied God, shouldn't it also satisfy us? Amen. And then we found out it's a fact that Christ died for you. He died, was buried, he then rose from the dead and now sits at the right hand of God the Father in heavenly places. And then we found out it's a fact that you can be saved by faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Say amen. Say amen. That's how much God loves you. It's through his son Jesus Christ we can find salvation and become not only children of God but heir to the throne of God, joint heirs with Jesus Christ. And then number six, the fact is that you can be saved and know it. Comes from 1 John chapter 5 verse 10 through 13. Read those scriptures. You can have confidence that you have eternal life through Jesus Christ. And finally yesterday we talked about the fact, the, the number seven, that you are now a child of God and you are to obey him. So we obey him in several different ways. We obey him in baptism, of course in studying the word, of course in getting involved in a church and, and a Bible study and 
and, and then of course our prayer life, that gives us access to God. That causes us to develop this relationship with him that he so desires and I hope you desire it too. So once again, if you've never accepted Jesus Christ, watch that video again. Pray that prayer at the end. Receive him as your Lord and Savior. And remember, tomorrow Sunday, go to church. Jesus loves you. I love you. I pray that God would richly bless you as you diligently seek him and serve him.